Everyone said there was going to be a lot of tourists, and I do definitely feel that there are a good number of people here. As you can see, uh, maybe I'm not in the most like touristy spots in London, but it doesn't feel so bad. Okay, I spoke too soon. So many people. Wow. Uh, well, good bit of exercise. Welcome to London, I guess. That's the coolest little pop-up. Alright, I made it to Rovi. I don't know how to pronounce it in Israeli. Uh, but I like the vibe a lot. Give you a little... Let's go outside. Let's go back outside. Very cool. I like how the bar is kind of like the hearth as you walk in. And it's just a little kind of U shape. Not a huge place, which I like. I like when you're able to kind of see everyone and get a vibe for it. Um, so this is by the chef and author who wrote Plenty, the cookbook. Uh, I forget his name right now, but I'll reference it later. Um, yeah, I'm excited to check it out. And I will update y'all soon. These are the kimchi and gruyere fritters. They come with a little hot sauce and lime and they're absolutely lovely. You can see the little kimchi in there um, and there's some flaky salt on top and some black sesame seeds. They're it smells like they're deep fried. They're kind of folded into like a chicken wing shape. This is like kind of how they're made. I just dumped all the flaky salt off. Very yummy. Okay, so we've got two more dishes. Um, we have the squid with sambal. And we have the cucumber. Uh, I forgot, but it looks fantastic. Little squid here. I can really smell the sambal. It's pretty much all I can smell. Excellent. You never approach someone while they're trying their first squid. Oh, such a faux pas. Um, the squid's good. It's good. Um, maybe the sambal isn't as, like, doesn't have this, the depth that maybe I was looking for. I'm gonna try a different piece. Mm. Mm. I got more sambal there. Very good. Um, it's nice and balanced. I think it could be a little bit more potent, like a little punchier. Um, maybe not as salty as I would want from it. But it, it does have the basil on top, which like adds that nice kind of earthy element to it. It's good. All right, let me try the cucumber now. This has like a little tahini sauce on the bottom or something like that. I think an aioli, maybe a shrimp paste aioli. Oh, it smells lovely. 
Mm. Oh, with the dill? The texture on that is phenomenal. Mm. The inside of the cucumber is like perfectly <clears throat> soft, but the outside has a nice crunch to it. That's not easy to get. Lovely. I think I'll go back for another bite. This also might have basil in it, but I definitely taste the dill. The dill is everywhere. Yeah, wow, just amazing. Mm. Mm. Wow, that aioli, absolutely incredible. It's excellent. Oh, and then these are the, some sort of berry. I forget, I, I forget exactly what this is. Um, whoa. It almost tastes like, um, like a wine. I wonder what that berry is. I gotta ask them. Both dishes, very good. I like the cucumber more. We'll go back for the squid. Give it a second try. I mean, the the chilies are really like coming through. It's quite good. I still wish a little bit more punch from the sambal, but other than that, very good. So here I have summer pudding. Um, with, I think it's almond sorbet on top. So let's give it a try. It is presented beautifully. Get a little of everything here. A lot of berries. I really feel that Otelengi loves texture. The texture in his dishes are really, really fun. Um, always a mixture of smooth and little crunch, some pop with the berries. You got these crisps on the side. Don't know exactly what these are. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. Kind of like a bread. Yeah, it's very lovely. Going for another bite. I'm destroying it, but it's okay. Mm. It's surprising because every, even the bite in my mouth is fun. Like you have crunchy, pop, smooth. It's like you get a different thing in every bite. Very cool. Buses themselves are quite nice and most of the transportation because you can just use contactless payment, which I think is like just every place should implement that. It's so helpful. Uh, I haven't had to like go to some machine and be like, I need to get on here and get off here. How do I do that? Day one has been uh, kind of short but overall successful. Um, yeah, cool city. All right, check it out soon.